By 2030, over 10,000 people will be needed with skills in related to uh, hydrogen. After 10 years, we will know what we did. We need to get the message across, the importance of molecules like hydrogen. It's the future of our planet. I truly believe that hydrogen closes the gap, and I want to be a part of that. Groningen, March 15, 2022. 24 students are gathered. A technician, a lawyer, an account manager, and so on. And as you look at the glass production, you have about 6 production locations in Nederland. They use about... In nine months' time, this group of professionals is taking part in the world's first hydrogen postgraduate study. You may not see it right away, but this is the future vanguard of the energy transition. They are setting out to become hydrogen experts. We all know that gas is going to stop. Eh? The winning of gas in, in Groningen is going to stop. We have to do something with hydrogen and we have to teach our specialists. The nice thing of the study in itself is that uh, it gives you a good overview of where hydrogen stands today. The training course is an initiative of Brunel, which is fully committed to the energy transition. Bram Freidewelt, initiator of the study, is more motivated than ever to accelerate this transition. I'm not sure what the, 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 the solution will be. Uh, the only thing that I'm aware of and that I'm sure of is that um, what we are and we used to do isn't suitable anymore. We need to make sure that we are more renewable. We need to be more green. The real solution for that, I think it's not just one solution. I think hydrogen is a part of the solution. And by doing this specific project, this program, uh, we are contributing towards a more renewable future. And it needs to be. Because the people Brahm is talking about don't exist, at least not yet. Besides the theory lessons, the students are also visiting external companies that are already working on the energy transition. We'll start with a normal uh, natural gas flame. Yeah, you can see it's a clear yellowish uh, flame. Yeah, when I switch to uh, hydrogen, you get a totally different flame. We as DNV are keen on getting new talented people in the uh, industry. Hydrogen is the future and we are keen to support Brunel and uh, EDI in this uh, training course to show the people real practice industrial testing environment. So the future is hydrogen. But despite the ambitious targets and objectives, we still have a lot to learn about hydrogen. Fortunately, the Netherlands already has many specialists who can help the industry and students on their way, such as Earl Guter, an expert in the field of sustainable energy at TNO, professor at TU Delft and teacher at Brunel. Hydrogen is basically uh, the link with the renewable electricity. So there you go from electricity into molecules. And with these molecules we can use for many different applications related to uh, making the clothes of the future. Uh, making the materials of the future. But we also can use this hydrogen for heating our houses. Uh, we can use in hydrogen for mobility application. And that's all because if you look at the energy density which you can get with hydrogen, the amount of energy which you have in, in, in a certain volume, it is way more than you can get with a battery. It's the future. And um, our slogan indeed is connecting specialists to pioneering projects. We need to make sure that we have an environment in which we can have specialists and can create specialists. You will need to have uh, the finance people uh, for a project, you will need to have the legal people and uh, you will have to have the engineers for the technical skills. Today, the students are visiting Twinning Energy, you are visiting Twinning Energy. where they will learn for more about hydrogen for mobility for solutions. Harko already working as a project manager in the energy sector, takes the course on his own initiative because he is convinced of the importance of hydrogen. I think that the, the hydrocarbon world is going to end. Uh, hydrogen in itself, I think there will be an important part to play, especially when the wind doesn't blow or the, 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 the sun doesn't shine. Um, so I see future generations uh, all driving in, um, uh, in hydrogen cars and electrical cars. Hydrogen is hot. And now, on the eve of the great energy transition, 
Whoever thinks of heat thinks of this place. Energy Stock, the first renewable electrolyzer for green hydrogen and storage in the salt caverns. Inside, you see the, the, solar, the, the, the solar field. Peter John Steauer, asset and technical manager at Energy Stock, knows the importance of this place more than anyone and how it will be when the students start working with hydrogen. It's quite interesting because we're doing what we are doing at this moment in, in the Hydrogen Valley, I would say. We get lots of people that come from all the world come to visit us and to look at what we are doing. What we always say to them is that we say, OK, we're a small country, but we know, we know how to handle water, so we also know how to handle hydrogen. And we can, we can use and sell our knowledge over the whole world also on this part, and I'm sure of that actually, because, because the, the things that we're doing here and the steps that we're making are going much more faster than, than in the world. But the world's coming up, so we have to keep uh, our pole position or try to get our pole position and try to keep our pole position. And to stay ahead, we need people from all kinds of backgrounds and skills. With the study coming to an end, the students have had several days of soft skill training, which is an important facet of the study. Soft skill training is about communication. Besides knowledge, it's really important how you share that knowledge and how you communicate with all your stakeholders in this new environment. Maybe also to influence the outcome more for your benefit or for the benefit for the whole environment. We got quite a lot of financial, technical and legal part in the, in the course itself. Uh, and we added to the course um, uh, soft skill training. And we teach uh, everybody how they can incorporate the things they learn in, in, from the technical point and the financial part uh, and how they can sell it internally. I believe that's what we can do right now, from this moment on, with the knowledge we uh, achieved in the hydrogen study. After nine months of training, the first group of graduates is a fact. What better way to receive your diploma than at the World Hydrogen Summit? It's not their first diploma, but this one might be the most future-proof. Now they are really at the forefront of the energy transition. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of EDI, on behalf of Grinnell, I would like to thank you very much for participating in this, this first edition of the Hydrogen post LBO program. And congratulations to all of you for getting your grades and getting your diploma today. It's either with or without us. I prefer being part of it instead of standing next to it. So we have a long way to go in a, in a really short period of time. You always are thinking about what is going to be the future and you are a part of that future. Yeah. I think the collaboration with Brunel is really um, a, a, a nice opportunity for the students. Uh, it's almost like a gift to the, to the Netherlands, uh, because people will be educated. And those people will educate other people. And, and, and this we get a, a lift, uh, a lift in, in the knowledge position of the Netherlands, which we really need uh, to have, because it is a highly competitive field. Thanks to the Brunel initiative, uh, we are educating smart people which can be directly used uh, in, in the field of hydrogen. And we need those people urgently. Hermer, Harko and Hoop are now official hydrogen experts. When I look back, or when people, my kids or my, my, my grandchildren will talk about me and they will say, okay, dad was, or grandpa, he was one of the first persons who made the change that the world needed. Um, yeah, and then I will be a happy person. We need to make sure that we have an environment in which we can have specialists and can create specialists. We need to make sure that we're top of our game. 
24 students ready to take our country and industry by storm. They're ready to go. Are you? Brunel. Connecting specialists to pioneering projects.